Hey, this is John Cena, WWE Superstar and 15-time champ, and you are watching this WWE Fan 13. You can't see us. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to the second video of the day. As you guys may or may not know, I uploaded a video earlier called The Five Nicest Wrestlers I've Ever Met. So make sure you go check out that video after this video. Make sure you watch this whole video, guys, because this is something that's very important to me. So, let's get started. Now, in the title, you see it says, uh, Pops Your Patience. And so basically, Pops Your Patience is this cause that I am helping out with, um, that I truly believe in, and I want to tell you guys a little bit about it. So you guys are wondering, well, what's Pops Your Patience? Like, what is it? So I'm going to tell you what it is. Pops Your Patience is a cause that collects and donates Funko Pop toys to children's hospitals around the country. Their mission and goal is to bring happiness and joy to the lives of hospitalized kids during their extended stays. Um, so basically, guys, that's pretty much what they do. They collect Funko Pops from people who care to donate to them. Um, and they just take them to the kids that are in the hospital for whatever reasons. Uh, whether they have cancer, um, whatever they might have that's wrong with them. And you guys are probably wondering, well, why do kids in the hospital need toys? Like, why do they need Funko Pops? Um, like, what's the point? Well, guys, as you guys know, or may not know, if you're new to this channel, you don't know, I have a little bit of experience in this whole, um, hospital thing. Um, on August 18th, 2013, I got diagnosed with acute lymphatic leukemia, which is cancer. It's a blood cancer. Um, and, you know, from that day until July 4th, 2016, I spent about a year and a half in the hospital total, out of all my hospitalizations put together. So, I know how it feels to be that kid, or that person, who was in the hospital all the time. And you know it sucked. Now you guys are probably thinking, well, you know, you get to lay around, do whatever, guys. Yeah, that's cool, you know. You know, in the hospital, all I did was um, watch TV on, well, obviously on the TV there. I watched YouTube videos, you know, occasionally played some video games like The Sims or basketball or WWE or whatever. And you guys probably think, oh, that's cool. You don't have to go to school. You don't have to deal with stuff. You don't just chill in the hospital. Uh, yeah, that might be true. Um, it was nice just to not have to go to school sometimes, you know, it was cool, but it really sucked. Um, it got really boring after a while. I, I missed school, <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. I missed my senior year of high school. Um, I had to give up a lot of stuff. I had to give up my life, pretty much, like, going out. I had to give up my college softball dream of playing college softball. Um, I had to give up a lot of stuff. So I, I know how it feels to be um, in the hospital bored all the time. And to be honest with you guys, some of the happiest times I remember is when, like, people would come and, like, kind of, like, try to cheer us up with different stuff. Because, you know, it got really depressing in the hospital. I got sad all the time. I was sad. I was angry. I was sick. I was in pain. You know, it, it, it really sucked. It really, really did. I can't emphasize that enough. So, I remember this one time, this uh, this high school called El Dorado here, they brought us um, some stuff, you know, like little, like goodies, I guess. And one of the things that was on the cart you could pick from was a wrestling figure. But at the time, th they weren't allowed to come in my room because I was so sick. Um, it was to protect me from, like, them not bringing germs in. So, the child life specialist and everyone in that unit knows I was I loved wrestling. And there was a wrestling figure on that cart, like I said. And um, they brought in that figure. And I remember I was having such a bad day that day. Um, I couldn't hit my... No one could come visit me. It was just me, my mom, and my nurses. That's all I could hang out with. And I love my mom to death, don't get me wrong. But after a while, you know, I kind of want my friends there. Or, like, my girlfriend or whoever. Even just my other family. But it could just be my mom and my nurses. And so I remember they brought in the figure, and, um, you know, it wasn't the greatest figure. It was a Vladimir Kozlov-like figure, but, you know, that one figure made my entire day. I just, it made me so happy, you know, like, that someone cared enough to bring that and to help boost my spirits, I guess. It, it's hard to understand how something like that 
could just um, make your day. Because, you know, normal kid, you get a Vladimir Kolkov figure and you're like, what the heck is this? Like, I bet most kids don't even know who he is anymore. But that day, it just really boosted my spirits. It's so hard to explain to you guys if you guys have ever been in this situation. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, guys, had other than how to explain it to you. So that is why I am here making this video promoting pops for patients to you guys. Um, I want to let you guys know I would never come on here and promote something that I did not believe in 100%. That is why I have never done something like this because this is the first um, cause that I actually really believed in. So I want to let you guys know how I got involved with them. Basically, I found them on Twitter somehow. I think one of the wrestlers might have like retweeted them or something. And I decided to check them out because I'm very, I love being involved with the cancer stuff, like helping out. But I've never really found anyone I can help out with until this cause. Um, so basically, I clicked on it, you know, and I messaged them. And I'm like, hey, I have a YouTube channel. Like, I would love to help you guys out any way I can. So we talked. And I found out a lot of interesting stuff about this cause. Like, the guy who ran, runs it, his daughter is um, sick. Uh, I don't want to say what is wrong because, you know, that's not my place to do it. But he is a stay-at-home dad taking care of her. So he knows what it's like to be a dad who's in the hospital. And his daughter knows what it's like to be in the hospital all the time. And that's why I love this because, you know, he's not getting these pops and just selling them on eBay he's actually giving them out to kids and I just love that about this cause I really do because you know Funko Pops are awesome oh I love Funkos I gosh I love them and you know it's such, it'd be such a cool little thing a little box just to give out to the kids and just make them happy for even if it's just an hour a day a few days you know It'll be, like, that little toy will be sitting on their little table in the hospital or wherever it will be. And, you know, every time they look at it, they'll remember that good feeling they got of when we came in to give them that toy. And they'll feel cared about and loved and that they're important. And that's the whole thing, reason why I'm doing this. So if you guys want to help out with um, Pops for Patients, I'm going to give you guys a little info right now. So basically, the way it works, if you would like to donate, obviously, we collect anything Funko. I and um, so basically, how this is going to work for you guys, there's a few ways for you guys to donate. Number one, we do not accept money because we want you guys to know that we're not going to keep your money. We want you to know that this pop is going to go to a kid. So basically, the way you guys donate is one of many ways. Number one, I set up a pops for patients amazon wish list on my personal amazon account and if you guys want to go on there and purchase something for a kid the pop will get sent to me and i will personally go to one of the, one of the two children's hospitals here in el paso there is the children's uh, paso children's hospital and there's the providence children's hospital the providence is where i got my treatment i will go to one of those two and i will donate and I will hand out these pops to the kids there. Um, so if you guys um, want to go to mine, the link will be down below. It'll say um, Pops for Patients El Paso. That You can click on that one. And there's also a second Amazon. If you don't like any of the pops that are on mine, go over to the other one. Um, it's going to say Pops for Patients Colorado. All those, there's another list there. If you like those pops better or if they're more in your price range, you guys can buy it there and it'll get sent to Colorado and it will, um, that those pops will get sent or given to kids in Colorado. Now, if you don't want to do either of those and you want to go shopping for the pop yourself, um, there are some guidelines you're going to have to follow, but they are pretty simple. Honestly, they're really simple guidelines. And let me pull them up for you. So basically, the way it's going to work is you're going to go to the store, whatever, you, however you're going to get them. And the guidelines are that the pop has to be child friendly, and um, basically, you know, you can't go buy like, like uh, Pennywise or like Saw pops or you know stuff like that. So it has to be like um, very like kid friendly. Uh, so it says only child friendly popular characters can be accepted. Example: superheroes, Disney, Star Wars, um, games, Minions, Bob Burgers, sports, WWE. So that's one of the um, requirements. Number two, 
No weapons and no blood. Nothing violent and nothing sexual, which is understandable because these are kids, you know. Number three, no used or out-of-box items can be noted can be donated due to germ risk. The reason that's a big, big, big requirement, and I'm going to emphasize that the most, is because some of these pops might be going to cancer patients, and any of them are used or have ger- like very like very used or dirty. Those germs can potentially harm the child because with cancer patients their immune system is depressed like it's it's low you know like as you guys know I get sick very easily and so do those kids so these boxes need to be new and clean I'm not saying go put wipes on them but they just can't be dirty you get what I mean a lot of germs that's why they have to be um no used or out of box items and the last uh thing I want to let you guys know uh, like I said, they take everything Funko. They it says we can also take Dorbs, unopened mystery minis, which is those little like mystery bags, like, um, like you guys know if you have like kids mystery box, like the mystery bags, um, unopened pint sized heroes, fabrications, pop keychains, and most other Funko items. So, uh, if you guys would prefer to, um, what's it called to buy them in person yourself and go shopping. There are two addresses you can send them to. Um, the first one's going to pop up on the screen. It, it'll be mine. My You can send them to my P.O. box. But make sure you put on the um, on the uh, box saying, like, Pops for Patients or something. And so my P.O. box, you can put Mr. Fan 13 or just Pop for Patients, whichever one. And then you can put, P, and then it's P.O. box 13169, El Paso, Texas, 79912. Now, if um, you don't want to send them to me, which is uh, completely fine, it's your choice. If you want to send them to the um, straight to, to the person who runs Pop for Patients, uh, you just put Pops for Patients, P.O. Box 31041, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37930. And if you're going to be sending them something, make sure you go to their Twitter, which will, all their social media will be down below, and message them, letting them know that you're going to send them something. Um, cause as I told you, this guy, he's very busy cause he has his daughter to take care of. So I'm pretty sure he'd want to have a heads up that he'll be receiving something in the PO box. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys will consider, um, sending out pops to us. I am the first one from El Paso, Texas to be helping them out. Um, so I kind of run the El Paso area, I guess you could say. I'm the only one doing it here. So if you guys would like to send it to me and donate to the patients here in El Paso, or you can send them to, uh, Tennessee and they will distribute them to different hospitals. So it's up to you guys completely. And thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give that like button a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for my future videos. And thank you for watching. You can't see me.